What's up, guys? Welcome back to another stream of Ferris Block. How y'all doing tonight? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for asking. So, this looks different, right? Um, I did, like I said in the previous stream, uh, I moved up, right? So we built out a couple of platforms, and I did this design on stream with you guys last time. Um, I did change over for the cobblestone uh, brick pathing, because I really like I really like it for pathing. I think it's good. Um, but yeah, this is the design that we kind of settled on when we were talking about it before. Got the iron uh, stripped iron logs going across in an X or a plus sign. Got one of them straight up and down that is not stripped. And then some planks on the side. I might still change this up some, um, but right now I'm happy with it, so we're going to go with it for now. Uh, but then I, I pulled this together, and I was like, uh, maybe I need to think about it a little bit more. But I did go down um, to where this previously was. I pulled all of the loot out of it, and then set up this up top. Like I said, um, as long as you keep one space around it, uh, free from the strainer bases, it should be fine. Um, so putting it in this kind of formation actually makes it still uh, at the best efficiency that you can for placement. And then doing the water like this, I think if I understand it correctly, then this is the most efficient way to actually run these things with the water sources. They have to be uh, no more than one block away from the strainer base. And it has to be running water. It can't be, it can't be source blocks, which is hurting our efficiency with our previous farm because we were using all source blocks. Um, and then since there's sort of four loot pools, um, in a way, I thought, you know what? Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and make four of these um, and get them farmed out that way. So this one has been pulling the uh, just normal kind of string strainer, so that way we can get some more of these building blocks. Um, obviously, I put in the, the Fisher type strainers here. Um, this one will be for the solid strainers, the, the iron ones, the tier 2. And then this will eventually be for the tier 3 someday when we get obsidian. Which is actually a thing um, that we're working towards. Uh, the main thing that's holding us back right now is the amount of gold that we have. Which right now... Um, since I tore down the strainers down below, I haven't restarted the solid strainers, which I really need to because we need to get our gold situation right so that we can move forward on these projects that we're trying to do. But then I thought I would try something bold and different. Uh, so it occurred to me somewhere in the middle of looking through a whole bunch of different blocks and things like that. Um, there's the forestry mod, which is what this comes from, right? Uh, yeah, forestry. There's more than just iron logs. So if there would be iron logs, then there would be different types for all of the different metals, but also there's coal. Um, so this is my coal tree <laughs> that I've got growing, and the coal logs look absolutely fantastic. I love them as much as I loved the iron ones. So what I did basically is I did a kind of checkerboard pattern which you could think of this like tile if you want to. Um, you might see tiles laid in this fashion in some building designs. Um, but yeah, it, it came out looking like a chessboard, right? Black on white. Um, I reversed the directions of the logs between the different colors. Um, and then I still kept the straight white line in the middle um, to kind of break up into the areas. With the goal being um, that if I wanted to, I could kind of split out like this would be a project zone, this would be a project zone, this would be a project zone. Um, but then I thought, you know, let's take it a little bit a step further, right? Um, and then I built this one, which is underneath the first one. And then I also, can you tell? Can you tell what I did? I mirrored the design. That's right. So I've got where I would have, you know, black down here, I have white up there. And then also I did a long strip of the uh, the coal logs um, instead of the long strip of the iron logs. And I thought that making it a kind of uh, inverse design was actually a, a pretty nice way of doing it. And my goal um, for this room, if you could say that I have one, is that this is going to be a storage room. Um, I plan to set up the... 
um, an array, if you will, of the storage drawers. And this is where they're going to be at because it's not something that we'll need to visit often, especially once we get a uh, refined storage or a simple storage or an AE2. I don't know which one's in this pack. Um, once we get those set up, then we won't really have to come down here that much. It'll be just something like where we go, oh, well, here's the drawer for dirt or whatever, and then we just walk right back out. So I don't, I didn't really need to go the full nines on design here, but I just, I wanted to play around and it looks cool to me. I liked it. Um, and I hope you do too. But yeah, so that's kind of what I've been up to. And I'm playing around with the idea of maybe sealing it all in and making it actually like, uh, you know, these are all solid walls. Because I don't think that, like I said, there's going to be much reason to look in here. Um, since it's mostly going to be storage. But I don't know. I haven't decided on that yet. But I've also been growing some more of the iron logs. Because here's something else that I found out. A recipe that either is added by the mod or was added by the mod pack creator. Is that you can put iron logs inside of a blast furnace. And it gives you back iron ingots. So, yeah. I've been growing some more trees up here because I did need some more iron. I kind of ran out of it. And then we're going to make those solid strainers and we're going to get them back in place. And that is goal one for today. So let's grab up. We need four water buckets. So that way we can set the strainers up right. You can't, like I said, uh, make them source blocks or you will lose efficiency, which efficiency in this mod is basically like the processing time on the individual strainers. It doesn't affect the loot chance at all. Um, it doesn't make it better at getting certain types of loot because the, uh, the actual quality of the loot never changes. Um, as we showed last time when we looked at all of the percentages of the loot, it's just the amount of time that you have to mess with it. Um, and also how quick it produces materials, not necessarily the materials that it produces. Uh, so let's real quick snatch a iron chest out of thin air here. And I mean, we'll go ahead and start, you know, using this storage room, I guess. Uh, but basically I just want to clear my inventory of some of these things for now until I figure out where I need to use them. And then we will cut down the street. <laughs> I like washing all this stuff out. Oh, the other thing that I did, um, as the most astute of you would have noticed because you have been staring at this block in particular, is that I set up the crafting station for silent gear. And so I upgraded my tools to the basically the same thing that I had, but the silent gear version of it. Um, just so I've got kind of like a uh, slightly better tool. Because it seems like the uh, degradation of the tool, like the amount of durability that it loses on doing stuff like this is the exact same as it was with the iron one. And also the repair on them is pretty similar too. Like I'm probably going to be able to, yeah, just barely get uh, a full repair on this. Like if I take one out, you can see there's still that much left. Um, which is pretty similar to how it was going with the actual just like normal Minecraft Iron Axe, but these do have modifiers on them. So I've got Malleable 3, um, which helps it to not lose durability sometimes, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it sometimes takes less damage. Um, and then I've also got Magnetic, so it pulls some stuff to me. Um, so definitely worth going ahead and crafting these, even if you're just going to use the same basic stuff that you would use to make a normal Minecraft one. Although there are better options, and I'm sure we'll get to it eventually later in the pack. That's just not where we're at right now. Right now, we're on making these strainers. We need the iron ones, which are made with iron bars. Which I've already made. I don't know why I'm trying to do that. And I need at least four of them. Oh, no. Ah, right, right. Slightly different recipe. <laughs> At least four for now. Although I've also come up with the lightest method of automation ever. Let's go ahead and do this and we'll just go ahead and make all four of them. Do 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 There we go, cool. And then we will pop them in here and they can start generating us resources again. Which again, if we look at it, uh, hold shift, and this gives you the different things that it can pull out of the air. Um, 
So 10, 10-ish percent chance of a redstone dust or a gold nugget. A uh, little bit of a, a below an 8% chance for a copper nugget, 10 aluminum, silver, lead, nickel, bismuth, and zinc. A little bit above a 5% chance for raw ura uraninite. Uh, it's like uranium, but uraninite, which is poor. Um, arcane crystal dust or a uranium nugget. As you can see, it's already given us a little bit of resources here just in the few seconds that we've been here. Um... These are definitely moving faster. Like, if you look at the percentages here, that's climbing much faster than it was. If you go back and you check my first video, um, you'll see that this is much more efficient. It's absolutely working correctly uh, to do it this way that I did it. And you can actually, eventually, you can craft this efficiency meter that lets you right-click on a strainer base, and then you can just measure its efficiency directly. Um, but this requires a clock. Again, I don't have gold. We're not there yet. But we're getting there. <laughs> this was step one. A step one on the journey for all of the gold. And then let's see, what else did I do? What else did I do? I feel like I did some more stuff in between stream. I need to move all of the storage stuff up here for sure. Because um, I want to fill this room out. I would... I've been looking at the storage drawers. At storage drawer. There we go. And I've noticed that in this later, latest version of the pack that we've been using, there is no, um, in the latest version of, not the pack, but the, uh, this mod, uh, the 1.15 version, there's no, uh, the crafting table that lets you make custom drawers isn't in here, which, oh, woe befell me when I found that out because I love making the custom drawers. I like having custom textures. Mostly, I like just using the texture of these drawers, but extending them out so that way I can have all of my drawers look like that. Because if I have some compacting drawers, which I'm always going to have some compacting drawers, I it, they look totally different from every other type of drawer that you can make. They have a different texture. Um, they don't look like wood, obviously, because they look more like stone since they're based on pistons. And so I just kind of, I like to make them just look like that entirely. And it's not very hard once you figured out the recipe, which I'd have to go back and look at. I've got it in one of my old world saves, I'm sure. Because I just had a table that was just set up with the recipe all the time. So I could go and make them whenever I wanted. But yeah, so uh, <clears throat> what we have available right now, we have oak. <laughs> and I'd like to use something else. I do really like dark oak. I think spruce looks fantastic. Even the birch. I actually think that inside this room, since we've already got like a hard white black kind of uh, shape, but we've also got a little bit of intermixed gray in here, that we might actually get away with using the birch doors and them not look terrible. Unfortunately, I don't have the other uh, tree types. Which, I guess we could look up that real quick. How do we get the other tree types? Like, if I want a birch sapling. I can do it that way. I can do it with World Transmutation with a Philosopher's Stone. Or I can do it through Mana with an Alchemy Catalyst. Or if I already have one, I can grow them in Bonsai stuff. So this... Ah, oh, see, Brewing Stands is required for that. So, oh, I don't know. That's such a long way for me to get get the ability to have other types of trees because this requires black diamonds to make a philosopher's stone like that's something that got changed in this pack which black diamonds of course uh that's a dark set gem so that requires us to go to the nether so really until until we get enough gold to make a jet pack and then get enough to to get to the quest that has this craft obsidian um we just don't have access to the nether yet so we're really kind of lagging behind on that so I guess we'll just have to use the only wood that we have so far, um, which is oak, to set up our drawer collection. Unless there would be a quest in the book in a different area that nets us like at least one of the other tree types. Bees doesn't, guy get, gets us honeycomb. Where we're at in Batania, we get a mana tablet or an endo flame. If we look in machine stuff, we need to make a furnator. <laughs> that gets us some energy cables. Or we can do 64 flux, but that gets us a flux controller. And so if we go to farming then, we've got a lasso that gets us another lasso. 
We got a fluid extractor gets us a latex bucket or the infusion stuff, which this is just... It's the recipe got changed on that too, if I remember correctly. Yeah, enhanced ender ingots and then red carpet. So that's different. That's not normally what's required here. And then for the actual altar itself, it's a beacon. So again, we'll have to kill a wither to approach that, which I mean, like, that's kind of fair, honestly. If you look at mystical, uh, what's this from? Mystical agriculture. If you look at it in a vacuum, it's actually pretty okay um, if that's the type of pack that you're playing but if you look at it in conjunction with everything else that it can do inside of any other pack it's actually pretty overpowered so slowing down the method of you getting directly to just having infinite resources being farmed is actually a fair point like i wouldn't i wouldn't fault the pack creator for wanting to change that up not a, not even a little bit but yeah so basically we're just kind of stuck waiting on that so let's do We'll just have to do some oak drawers for now. Because the other thing is that all of this building up is going to... It's going to take up space inside these things. So I do need to get the products moving out of here pretty quick as well. Um, and, oh, yeah. Did I show you my very basic automation? <laughs> I have a hopper that's just going into the strainer base. And I can put five of the meshes in here since they don't stack. And then it'll just take them over time. And with these, since these like actually last quite a bit, I could use the hoppers for putting uh, maybe worms in or uh, maybe the uh, the worm pots. Once I get around to setting that back up. But honestly, I've got a fair bit of the uh, fisher-based loot. I don't really think I need too much more of it because most of it can just be grown. If we go down here. <clears throat> this is where I had it set up before, right? So this is all the stuff that I took out of the the fisher loot so i've got a few enchanted books a little bit of redstone some fish some bones i guess you can't get those through it and i mean technically you can't get fish but do i really need like a ton of fish not really potatoes were growing sugarcane were going bamboo i'm pretty sure we can grow i just haven't started doing it yet because i don't really care to <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually know if bamboo is used for anything in particular in this pack. Scaffolding, obviously, but I don't... This isn't normal Minecraft, so scaffolding, not as big a deal. A glow rose basket? That's nice. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's no very specific uses for it. Carrots were growing, kelp were growing, redstone we've got coming out of the other thing in addition. We could start growing pumpkins, but again, why? And I think cactus, yeah, cactus you can grow in here too. Although again, what do we really need cactus cactus for? Cactus fruit, cellular blocks, uh, nature agglomeratio, and cactus batch. And then it burns into cactus paste for quark. Mana infusion into a slime ball, but we have a handy slime farm at any moment. So yeah, I think we're good there. So then more fish and then a little bit of enchanted books. Now the enchanted books are obviously good, but they're super rare. Um, that, that right there, me having like this, what is that? Seven? Yeah, seven enchanted books that I have so far is me putting so many worms into that thing. Because it's only like a 1% chance. Um, it does not happen very, very quickly at all. So I think, yeah, we're just going to have to go for the... Uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to go for the oak storage drawers. I just feel like it's our best, our best single item storage network thing. Cause there's nothing that just, yeah, there's nothing that just does more items like that. So let me come in here and I'm gonna find the storage drawer controller. There we go. That we got, and then we will dive back to the surface. Which this infinite loop elevator idea is uh, absolutely brilliant. I'm surprised that in all of the Skyblock packs that I've ever played, I have never done that before. Like, that's legitimately the first time that I've ever been like, Oh, if I can just if I can just fall through the floor and get back to the ceiling, I can just go up and down all I want. <laughs> ah. And then the iron production over there is a little bit slow, which is why I'm doing it here too. 
just kind of passive as I'm walking by, you know, no big deal. These iron logs in the blast furnace, though, that was a great idea. I'm glad I found that out. So, 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 iron logs, storage stuff. Let's plop down the controller. And I really, yeah, cinder. Cinder's got to be where it's at, right? And I do want to leave space behind in case I need to do wiring stuff. So probably, probably there. And then we'll move the light stuff in one block along all the axi. There we go. And then we'll just spread drawers out from there as we need to. And we gotta go with that, that classic oak for now. So, if we would be doing that, we need to look at what comes out of the different meshes and then plan accordingly. So, out of these, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 things that can come out of these. Um, this one is going to be hard to do because, well, not really. I mean, like, what? It's different types of fish string leather we can look at all the different crops then bones and then we'll need a, a random storage thing for like enchanted books and then from these it's i mean like literally this stuff here so uh gravel sand dirt and then clay so nothing nothing too major comes out of those right there sand and gravel lets us make concrete though i have to remember that that we already have access to concrete and in fact we can even solidify it inside of our inventory by using the cauldron which is kind of brilliant because it still takes time you know i don't really think that's overpowered if it still takes time you can only do three or four per oh no sorry i dropped a bit of coffee I had to catch that real quick um <clears throat> you can only do three or four per cauldron so definitely i wouldn't think overpowered yeah, whew. it being Iron Nuggets A, and then it also being like only a what, like 1% chance or something like that? What's the actual percentage? Time to grow 10 seconds, and then there's a 20% chance of an Iron Nugget each time. Yeah, 10, 10, 5. It just takes a while, so you gotta boost it up by doing stuff like that. And doing stuff like this. This is actually the better plan. But yeah, so 13. We'll start with this. And then we'll get we'll get that done. And then we'll worry about other things. So 13. And if I would... If I would actually like that to be... See, the rub is that most of them are metals. And so if I think that most of them are metals, then that makes me want to go for the compacting drawers. Because then I can just switch them back and forth between nuggets, blocks, and, uh, and ingots at my will. This requires two pistons per, and each one of them would be one, one thing. Hmm... I do have, I think that my chests are like loaded to the brim with, with kelp, so I'm not worried about the Neptunium. You know, honestly, I should just make Neptunium tools. I don't know why I haven't already done that. These have way more durability. Harvest level three and nine, three and eight. I mean, that's not that big of a difference, but it definitely is a big difference. And I don't, I don't know if we can repair these though. I'm sort of curious about it now. We'll test it here in a minute. But yeah, I'm not worried about the Neptunium ingots for the pistons. So then it would just be the iron and the redstone. And I think... I already have some redstone for sure. I'm just not sure how much. Is it over here? Yeah, this is what I got. See, I've got a whole four gold ingots right now. 
That's what I'm working with so far. And then, yeah, I've got some more redstone here. So, iron-wise, or uh, metal-wise, I guess, we have aluminum, we have lead, silver, bismuth, nickel, copper, tin, zinc, I think, is a metal, and then... The other stuff I don't think is. And then we have gold. So we have nine different types of metal. Ten if you count iron ingots or iron stuff that we want coming into our storage area. So that means that even just to start out, we're looking at ten compacting drawers. But hey, it's not like we can't do that. Let's get it set up, huh? So we'll definitely need some, we need some drawers. And I think that honestly, the 2x2 is probably gonna be, or is the 1x1, what's the cheapest drawer? So we got 1x1, which is six plus eight. So that would be 14. We've got the 1x1, which is slabs, but I mean, honestly, that's just more of a pain to create, so whatever. That's technically cheaper, but eh. You get two of these for 7 plus 16, so that's obviously a loss. And then the 2x2, you get four, but again, that's... Yeah, so I guess the 1x... The 1x1 is actually the, uh, the best in terms of just making other drawers. Because you can't use trim, which would actually be the cheapest. <laughs> so let's grab out some of the oak luggage. And... Yeah, I don't know. Why did I walk away without grabbing me that? Come on, me. <laughs> and if you just keep on taking out half stacks like you just saw me do inside of there, you'll never need to worry about refreshing it. So let's... For now, we're going to set this here so that we can see what we're looking at. Okay. So then we need a chest and planks. Conveniently, I have that. So let's do that. And that will let us make one compacting drawer, right? Yeah. So I need to do that a few more times. Let's get us 18, I guess. See, this is just me uh, figuring out that if I have to place in uh, six blocks real quick, you know, I'm just doing it in batches of six. So that gave us 16. So that's cool. And then we'll need pistons. Oh, right. <laughs> living rock and living wood. Oh, why did I forget about that? Well, again, it's not like we don't have it. I just forgot that I have to do that part. Which I've got plenty of logs in my inventory, so that's not a big deal. Let's see how much living wood and rock I've already made. So do you know I have some? Should be in blocks. I would guess... Dark oak logs. If only there was a way to turn you into saplings, my friend. Sadly, there do not be a way to turn you into saplings. I'm just looking real quick. You can't fault me for trying. Alright, so... Not... Not seeing any. Did I put them in the personal drawer? Oh yeah, there's living wood and white concrete, living rock. So yeah, not much. Not much for sure. I definitely need more of that if I have to make a whole bunch of pistons like this. So let's get 
Let's get a couple more pure daisies, I think, if we have to do this, since it takes time in, like, both dimensions there. Did I put my flower bag in here? I did. And I do still have that. Put it back up. And then we're going to grab this, grab petals, and... Fertilizer? Fertilizer. Now, does this work with fertilizer? This classic, classic trick. Also, can I repair shears? No. I mean, that kind of make. They're so cheap to make, I really, really should just be fine with that. Let's put up these buckets for now. Also, this Neptunia Max. We'll, we're going to try that out. I'm just waiting for the thing to grow up there. Don't you worry, friends. So let's do this and this, and then that and that. Yes, it works. Fantastic. So then we take these, we turn those into four petals. And then we do a whole line. And then, huh, 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 huh. Yes. Fantastic. And that gives us back eight of these, and then boom, we turn that into 32 petals. Fantastic. Go ahead and harvest this one. And also, I feel like I probably have some dirt already lying around. Yes, I do. Great. So let's go back up top. Oh no, that, that level's where I need to be, actually. So I'm just gonna do it up here. Then we're going to do that's the rub okay so on this on the platforms over here because I have to put it in the ground that's the annoying part so here if it, mm, no again I'm disrupting everything by trying to do this the way that I'm trying to do this let's just go back down so I have to put the pure daisies into the ground Oh, but I haven't, I haven't even made the pure daisies yet. Which I really only want like th two, three more, total of four, maybe a total of eight. Seven, okay. I, of course, moved my, uh, my petal apothecary up here to the top. Ooh, and that tree grew. I think I noticed that a second ago and just didn't say anything, but we're going to need to mess with that for sure. Get out the A bucket, put up the shears, and then where are the petals? One, two, three, four, and seeds, grab more water. Empty hand, seat. Empty hand. Dang it. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting mixed up because I'm doing something sort of repetitive. There we go. Hup, 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 and hup. There we go. Okay, so we've got our eight daisies. So that gives us plenty of space to do this on. I just need, basically, I just need a platform that I don't mind either digging out 
or having stuff above on. And honestly, that's kind of what this platform is right now. So I'm just going to have to be okay with this. Is the truth of it. So let us put down just an area of dirt. I need... Oh, so that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That'll give me an extra block for standing on. Okay. Sip some sweet berry juice. And then use the bag to hold the glasses for now. So let's pull out our pure daisies and we'll do that there. Skip two, skip two, skip two. And then, oh yeah, skip two. I actually need, I need this one. Skip two. So basically it's on the last one. I don't know why I'm, <laughs> why I'm trying to figure that part out. And then I need one more line for the actual happening, I guess. Can I just, I see, here's the thing. I'm worried that if I put down like planks or something, I'm going to destroy my whole thing, but whatever, we'll figure it out. Not redstone. This is all super temporary. Because it looks really bad. Basically, you just go around the outside of the pure daisies, put down a whole bunch of stone. Including out there on the main platform, which I definitely meant to do. And then you do... The same thing in between. And then while we're waiting on that, ooh, I expect my backpack to be there. Let's pull out this axe. Which I do like that the Silent Gear axe has that magnetic quality, which this one does not. But yeah, then can I repair it? Can I just be like, bloop? I can. Okay, cool. So yeah, we just need to make a whole bunch of Neptunium tools, and this is the new thing. So we'll do this stuff in here for now. All right. And there we go. And of course, I just put up my pickaxe when I need to pickaxe something. That gives us a good bit of living rock. Let us pull out a crafting station. And we'll set it down over, I mean, just here somewhere. It doesn't really matter. And we'll start looking at piston crafting. So we need that, which we need 20, so we don't quite have enough living rock. So we'll, we'll have to go ahead and do the other one that I have sort of made up the materials for. Oh, have made up the materials for, actually. Although I'd be completely out of uh, stuff here. I'll have to pull back out the uh, charcoal that I just put. I just put here, actually, I think. Yep. I think I was testing something. So I found out, looking at this iron furnace, that it actually, I said that it burned 10 before, and it doesn't. It actually kind of burns 11, but not all the way. 
But if you're doing a big craft, like if you're doing 32 or 64 of something, and you go ahead and put in enough for just 30, it'll probably go ahead and do it. It doesn't quite make it to 64. It only does 63 if you put in 6 charcoal. So if you automated that, you could actually probably go for like 70 and hit like 72 or 73, something like that. Maybe you could actually hit 74. So let's do the next batch of stone here. Me personally, I go around the outside edge just so that I hit like my boundaries. It's not like there's any specific reason to do it this way, it's just my preferred method. Because then I can just come back down the center. And also there's no chance of me falling off. Not that that matters a lot in this pack, fortunately. Another one and then honestly go ahead and we'll do one that's just for that we'll make some more charcoal since we're burning up a lot otherwise and then let us repair Pick. You know, I mean, I did that, but I could also just... I can be like, let's make the Neptunian pick, yo. Can I make it out of... Can I make a... No, Silent Gears doesn't recognize that. So Neptune's Grace. Usable without speed penalty underwater, but again, Harvest Level 3, Mining Efficiency 9. Can get Obsidian... The mining speed's 9, which this mining speed's 8, so this is also just a quicker pickaxe. And the metal in this pack, I mean, that's not too much rarer. I mean, having to have kelp and stuff, sure, but it's not, not so much rare. Interesting sound it makes, though. Huh. All right. Well, this will give us enough to get the 20 that we need. And then I think just one, one set of logs will be enough. Like, I don't think I'll need to make too much more of the living wood. So let's pull out one, one stack of logs here in total And of course it looks terrible, but when you cut it all out of here, it'll all look exactly the same. So don't, just don't look at it for a minute. Let's just, we'll look away, we'll avert our gaze while it's transforming. And then I've already got, oh, I don't have, oh, right, I'm making, wait, this, this is the piston crafting. It's not even that. Okay, pistons, yes. Neptunium, I also need 20, and then the basic coils, I also need 20. And I'm really kind of hoping that those stack. Because, like, all of a sudden, I'm like, oh, what if they don't? Let's, uh, let's actually figure that out real quick. So I need... How many do I need? I mean, yeah, I need 20 of them. So let's, um... Did I put up my redstone? I did. Okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> huh. Okay, I've got enough for 20 of them, so that's good. 
We'll do this to make sure that we're limited to only 20, and then we'll batch craft. Cool. So now we can put these up here. We got that part done. And then we need the Neptunium, and then we need the Living Wood. Which hopefully that's enough Living Wood. I mean, yeah, because there's, there's, yeah, totally enough. Boop, boop, boop. And then we just need the Neptunium, which for that we just need the Kelp. So we'll get out... I mean, let's go ahead and get a full stack, whatever. Stack of Neptunium, baby! Oh wait, no? No? Oh, it's four, yeah. <laughs> Not quite that easy. Still pretty easy. We just need a little bit more kelp. And then... Boop. Alright. Let's get out our 20 of that. And then boom, 20 pistons. It's a heck of a craft. Let me just uh, yeah, sort my inventory real quick. And then put up the pickaxe, because I won't be using that anymore anytime soon anyways. Get out the 20 pistons, and then we're down to needing normal stone and iron. Do that. Put that in. And then 10 iron. So really, we just need a little bit more stone, which is obviously not hard to, to get. We got infinite cobblestone right here. So we'll just do a batch process here. That'll be done pretty quick, honestly, too, which is nice. Do that, and then pull out one more of the iron logs just to make this a nice, easy, even craft. And then we'll go ahead and blast furnace out some more iron. Doot, doot. There we go. All right. So we just need 20 more stone. Let's check on sieves. 21 gold. 15, 20, and 13. So we're getting there. It's still not enough because the jetpack, the jetpack is actually crazy. I don't know if you guys remember from the previous stream, but um, so this is the overall recipe for it, obviously. So it's got some ironwood in there. It's got these two parts, which we've already made. Um, it's actually just these that we need, but these need uh, three advanced coils and the battery, the Ferris energy cell also needs uh, an advanced energy coil. Uh, so we're really looking at just needing what is this? Uh, it's four per, and then we need four of them, so that's 16, and then we need to do it twice. So that's 32 um, gold ingots. We need a half stack of gold to be able to make this. And right now we're rocking, uh, you know, maybe a stack of, of nuggets and four, <laughs> four actual complete ingots. For those of you who do pay, play this pack, also take note that the creator is generous. Um, in the beginning of the pack, you do get this Neptunium Max for free. It's in the personal chest when you first load up the world, if I remember correctly. So let's lay down some more of the Sapply before I forget. And then we will go and get those the stone. Yeah, we got at least 20 there. <laughs> Which sounds wrong to say, but you know I'm not wrong. And then, boom, we've got ten compacting drawers. So then if we come over here to our handy-dandy uh, drawer controller, 
and we slap down one, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll just quickly go ahead and sort them out. So we've got, I'll need to grab gold, because I don't have any of that yet. No, no. So we'll do that first. We pop it in here and this is how they work, right? So obviously I can pull out an ingot, I can pull out the nugget, or if I had enough, I could pull out a block and obviously I don't have enough yet. So let's sort inventory again. And then we'll do right next to the gold silver, um, just for my own, like, I put gold and silver together because <laughs> Electrum. And then we'll do zinc. Zinc down here on the far end. Get out of here. Uh, then we got 10 copper, nickel. Nickel's kind of a, a more valuable-ish one. So I'll put it over here. Bismuth, lead, aluminum. I don't really know what bismuth is used for right now. So boom, you're down here with, with zinc. And then... Probably aluminum, lead, and tin will follow on that side in no particular order. And then iron, we just literally have a billion D of, so I mean, we'll just put it in there, whatever. And then. Man, what was the tenth one? What am I forgetting here? I literally just talked about this a second ago. I had... Oh, copper. Bah, 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 bah. Bloop. There we go. <laughs> ah, it was literally in the chest and I'd already forgotten about it. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, let's grab out the rest of the stone just so it's not just sitting there. We'll put in some more of the charcoal. Cool. So then, the next thing that we'll be doing along this line is I'm going to do some wiring. Um, basically, I'm going to take out the block that's directly underneath the drawer controller, and we're going to put up uh, an, a wire that goes into that with the, the cables, the pretty pipes. Is that what they're called? Pretty pipes? Yeah, pretty pipes. We're going to put that up so that everything will just be funneled over here and then it'll just automatically be put inside of this thing. Now, that does mean that I do, I have to make a space for everything. Um, so this is where the other storage drawers are going to come into place, like the, you know, redstone, um, arcane crystal dust. What else here? Um, the uraninite, uraninite, and then also just the normal uranium nuggets right there. And then from these, you know, those four items. And then from these, the friggin' billion D things that it can be. I'll have to figure out some way to place it there. Um, I wonder if you can do priority with these pretty pipes. Because that's the other thing. If I, if I would automate the one, this one, going over there, then I'd have to do everything and like the enchanted books you can't put in storage drawers correctly it just won't work so i might not be able to automate the fishing ones but they're also like like i said they're like the least valuable ones to me right now so i'm i'm just gonna not worry about it and then if i really need to i'll figure it out later sounds like a best plan for me just keep on knocking down these trees to get these iron nugs you know, it actually kind of makes sense. So let's look at this real quick, right? Fair. Ferros tree. There's a gold tree, isn't there? There sure is. So gold sapling is four gold blocks around whatever sapling. So gold blocks. It might be better, instead of worrying about getting this jetpack immediately, I might need to devote my gold towards getting the sapling and then we'll just have it forever that seems kind of like the best way to do it doesn't it 
Because then I would just, I'd have gold being farmed the same way that I have iron being farmed right now. I could do the same thing I just did here, where I gained, like, I don't know, friggin' 20 ingots that fell from the sky as I cut down the tree. So that might be my best plan, actually. So yeah, what other stuff do I have to do right now? I do need to move the, the other storage items up here. I do need to make storage drawers for the other items that come out. I'm thinking... Yeah, it's just going to be individual... Individuals for that. I might... For these, the Uranium, Uraninite, Arcane Dust, I might combine those up into a lesser storage drawer, but I don't think I will. I just don't have a reason to. I'd like to get the last tier of drawer, or um, strainer, if I'm being completely honest, but I think that requires obsidian. Yeah, and obsidian is still worth waiting on. Wait, is that literally it? Oh, but how do you get a lava bucket, right? I don't have a lava bucket yet. I haven't figured out how to make lava yet. A cauldron. How do I get a lava bucket? Some wax from bees, blaze powder, and a diamond? That's a stupid way of doing it. Redstone and a vulcanite amulet? That's an expensive way of doing it. See, this is why I was waiting on the quest. I've already been down this path with myself before, where I was like, how do you just... Can I just make obsidian? Like, how do I do it? And then came to the conclusion, ultimately, that that's why I'm waiting on the quest to come out. How do I get lava? A melting chamber? See, that's all obsidian based too. And I'm sure if I was... I mean, like, once you're able to go to the nether, you can get a ton of it. Because it's just there. You can just mine it. And we're given the uh, Neptunium ingots for pretty cheap. So, like, you can get a good pickaxe that's able to mine it, no problem. I just can't go to the nether until I have some. So yeah, it's just, it's just what I'm waiting on. Wax and blaze powder. Blaze powder comes from the things that you would expect it to come from. So yeah, just waiting to progress the quest. That's why I need that jetpack. <laughs> See, watch in shock and awe as I rediscover things that I already knew. <laughs> I think that deserves a sip of coffee. Mm. I actually deserved several, several sips of coffee. So yeah, I think Gold Tree. Gold Tree's got to be our next priority. That's the next thing we're working on for sure. But that's just time. That's just letting this run. So let's craft up, if we're going to be waiting on that, let's craft up some more of the um, strainers. So that way I can have them ready. And then we'll also do some storage drawers shenanigans here real quick. Let's get... I just want to clean my inventory real quick and then come back into it. So let's pull out... I mean, I might as well pull these out because we're going to be using them. And then I'm sure that I'll need... Somewhere in there I will need some iron. So sure. I'll actually need more than that because I need to make iron bars. Oop, and then like that, except not that way. <laughs> so let's make, how many sets should we make? four for each one. I think that'll be enough. So we already have four, so we need... Yeah, 12 more? Yeah, 12 more. 16 total. And then... Soot, soot, soot. 
Oh, I still don't. I don't quite have enough iron. Oh well. We got more coming. Basically, I need a full stack. So I need three more. I probably have it in the nugs over there. Actually, I. T <laughs> what am I doing? I just put a whole bunch of iron in here because I was like, yeah, I'll just clean out my inventory real quick. Do that. Do that. And then, huh. And unfortunately, these don't stack. So if you're gonna if you're gonna batch craft them, you want to be kind of close to what you're doing, right? But yeah. Then I'll just do one, two, three, four in there, four in there, four in there, and then I can sit in my little makeshift AFK spot where I seal up the front here and uh, just let that happen in between streams. But let's see, what, what immediately is going to go into a storage drawer? We know everything from the water strainers is going to go in there, so let's grab out at least one need clay, coarse dirt, gravel, and sand. That's going to be going in some of them. Oh, no, no, no. I might need to widen the path there, so I don't do exactly what I just did multiple times. Let's do... Set stuff like that for now. 